A very good day to you. I'm Hank Gross, MidHudsonNews.com. It's Wednesday, October 27th. The news today brought to you by the Galleria at Crystal Run. The State Parole Board has granted Brinks armored car robber David Gilbert, who took part with his fellow members of the Radical Weather Underground back in October 20th, 1981. That attack in Rockland County resulted in three deaths. Nyack Police Sergeant Edward O'Grady, Police Officer Waverly Brown, and Brinks Guard Peter Page. Gilbert was sentenced to 75 years to life in prison for his role in the robbery. His parole is disgraceful, says South Nyack Police Chief Daniel Wilson, president of the Police Chiefs Association of Rockland County. David Gilbert played an active role in the preparation and execution of the Brinks robbery. The perpetrators used automatic weapons and wore body armor. The intention was violence from the onset of the robbery by firing automatic weapons and shotguns upon the Brinks guards without warning. State Assemblyman Mike Lawler called the parole board's decision an absolute abomination. For now, Republican gubernatorial candidate Andrew Giuliani is concentrating on supporting local races in next week's elections. The son of Trump ally Rudy Giuliani attended Tuesday evening's Ulster County GOP Get Out the Vote dinner in Kingston. For us, our focus uh, seven days before the November 2nd election uh, is on uh, flipping the Ulster County uh, legislature to the Republicans. They were 37 votes shy last time. And also, also informing the public about the propositions on the back. You know, we've been suggesting saying no to propositions one, three, and four. Giuliani said his formal gubernatorial campaign will begin on Wednesday, November 3rd. Ulster County has maintained its AA credit rating in the most recent October ratings by S&P Global, citing strong management with good financial policies and practice. County Executive Patrick Ryan says he can confidently say that the county is on the strongest financial footing it's been on well over a decade. Standard & Poor cited a number of reasons for their rating, including the county's strong management with good financial policies, strong budgetary performance with operating surpluses in the general fund, and strong budgetary flexibility. The village of New Paltz has formally submitted an application for the state's latest round of the Downtown Revitalization Initiative grants. The state is offering two $10 million DRI grants per region, Mayor Tim Rogers says one of the components deals with rebuilding and revitalizing the downtown child care center, which has been out of existence for years. The other piece had to do with focusing on making sure that our downtown sidewalks were ADA compliant. We have all these visitors with the River to Ridge Trail and the Empire State Trail and, you know, We've all known about Minnewaska and the Mohawk Preserve that it's existed now for decades. But, you know, we've all these visitors. Plus, we have all the, the long, long-term long existing residents. You know, we should have a very walkable downtown. The village also wants to fix its inflow and infiltration problems that are a function of old sewer pipes, including many from the late 1800s. More news in just a moment. Find over 100 retailers allowing you to spend hours shopping safely at the Galleria at Crystal Run. Enjoy the big brands and the diverse selection of family-owned stores all in one location. The Galleria at Crystal Run offers dining options for everyone with Fuji 110 Grill, Allen's Mediterranean Grill, and Peru Cuisine. Discover the Mid-Hudson Valley's premier shopping, dining, and entertainment destination the Galleria at Crystal Run. For more information, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, or visit GalleriaCrystalRun.com. City police in Kingston are investigating a report of shots fired at around 10.15 p.m. on Monday. Witnesses on the scene in the area of Down Street described hearing seven to eight gunshots. There were no reports of any victims or damage to property, other than several trees that were struck on Down Street. Police believe there were two vehicles involved in the incident, last seen in the area of Down Street and Tenbrook Avenue. The vehicles were described as gray or silver sedan and a dark-colored or possibly black sedan. 
On October 14th, minutes before 9 a.m., the Ulster County Sheriff's deputies responded to a report of a two-car accident involving a school bus and dump truck. The preliminary investigation determined that 53-year-old Janos Coca of Tannersville was attempting to pull out onto Route 9W from Alden Turnpike in his 2020 Nissan Rogue. A 2016 international dump truck driven by 35-year-old Jeffrey Big Green of Saugerties was traveling southbound on Route 9W. When Big Green swerved to avoid contact with the Nissan, it put him in the path of an oncoming school bus, which he also swerved to avoid, causing the dump truck to strike a utility pole and overturn onto the driver's side, investigators said. The dump truck then slid down the roadway into the opposite lane of traffic, striking the first student school bus traveling northbound, which was operated by 63-year-old Brenda Oster of Mount Barron. The Green suffered serious injuries and was pronounced dead at the scene. Police say the investigation into the accident is continuing. I'm Hank Gross, MidHudsonNews.com. The news today brought to you by the Galleria at Crystal Run.